Hi everyone, Miss Fisher here, and today we're going to be reading my most favorite book in the whole entire world. Skippity John Jones by Judy Shadner. Every morning, Skippity John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Eat yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded. Or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Miss Doohickey's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do something, some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse, or a gross, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. You need to think about what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippity John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippity John Jones, and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippity John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippity John Jones. What was that? And so he went up again, and again it appeared. And then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. And my head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippity John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippity John Jones began to sing in a muy muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. Clap, clap. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeedo. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama June Bug Jones make lunch. Can Skippity John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippity John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a loathsome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay caramba, who goes there? asked Skippity John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Scapito, the greatest sword fighter, said Skippity John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Paquito Tito? I go incognito, said Skippitito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, sí, I love mice and beans, said Skippito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning towards Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, 
Choo Pito Choo. Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito. It's the end of the Alfredo Bazito. Scapito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumblebeeto. And then all the chimichangos went crazy loco. First they had a fiesta, and then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious beesness. Using his paws, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumblebeeto for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichango so great that no one could hear a whisper dr whisker drop. Alfredo Bazito whispered the crowd, El Blimpo Bumblebeeto Bandito. See, si, said Panquito Tito. The bandito steals our friolets. Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. See, si, Paquito continued, red beans, black beans, Boston bake, and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, Paquito added. Porque? asked Scapito. Because we are full of the beans, too. And then Don Diego stood tall, and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero fioles. Huh? asked Capito. The dude just wants his bean back, I sa said Paquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Capito. And then the chimichangos turned towards Scapito, the greatest sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan, because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichango scattered in all directions. Vamos, Scapito! Or does you, the bandito, will eat oh, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmered and stood like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the casanates. And then, in a muy muy soft voice, he said, My name is Scapito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito, but Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy free ways, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bandito landing on Scapito's sword, and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo, Buzzito, the Bumblebeeto, Bandito. And then all the doggies burst into song. Yippee, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Scapito. He is the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippity John Jones' room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Benito, Crashito, Peru. Papito, Scapito, just a time to ski. Skippity John Jones' closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, Beanbag Doggies, and the Kitty Boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippity John Jones! Cried ev everyone cried. Holy mucharacas! He said in a mooey mooey soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippity John and covered his head with a furry, purry kiss. What am I gonna do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be 
going to sleep, Skippity John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippity John Jones with a mind of his own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say goodnight, Skippity John Jones called his mama. Buenos noches, mis amigos, said Skippity John Jones. The end.